does get out of the south. Yeah, I will. Sorry about my leg between yours, Cal, but I had to don't get to see the news until 7 o'clock when I came on the We're the wireless dentists of the year. I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to Thank you all. Thank you all very much. And let me reassure you, I know that some of you will probably be present in a little while when I've got to make a speech, so I won't make two of them, or I won't make the one twice. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to say again, this hospitality and the warmth of your greeting and all um, is a very heartfelt experience for me. I'm grateful to all of you. I'm also more full than I should be. <laughs> But it was wonderful, and I can't help but think, though, seriously, how much of the problem that's on all of our minds, how much of it is evident there is a sermon or a speech in the menu? Because is there any place in Cuba, outside of maybe the presidential palace, where that menu could still be served? Just before boarding the plane this morning, I was handed some, a little report. And Cuba is not even able to meet its quota now for its customers in its principal crop, sugar. And I've been told since I've been here, they're importing that. And if ever there was a, an explanation of the difference between freedom and what they now have there, it's all told in what we've been eating here and in the menu, because that's no longer available there. And uh, if I go on any longer, I will be making the speech that I'm going to make later, so I'd better not do that. But uh, uh, thank you all very much. Thank you.
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here to write some history. All of this happened because of the effort of a group of well-intended men and women. Carlos Salmon, ladies and gentlemen, the, there's a name for this kind of spirit. It's called the American spirit, and there's no limit to what it can do. But let me, yours, from the islands of the Caribbean to South to Central America to North America. To an orphanage and then to a foster. <laughs> he is the United States executive. I didn't know what to say. He gave me a pair of running shoes. <laughs> and I'm not sure what. Oh, there were those who thought Miami had reached its peak and was on the way down. The economy seemed stagnant. There was little hope inside international center, a gateway to Latin America. The Cuban people. It's a failure of Fidel Castro and the communists. The Soviet Union. It reminds me of the story. I happen to collect stories that the Soviet people are telling each other, the Russian people. It, in, in the he said the potatoes. He said, there are so many that if we put them in one pile, they would touch the foot of God. And the commissaire said, just a minute, in the Soviet Union, there is no God. <laughs> Democracy and justice. Perhaps the greatest tie between us can be seen in the incredible number of cathedrals and churches found throughout the hemisphere. Our forefathers took the worship of God seriously. Our struggles for independence and the fervor for liberty unleashed by these noble endeavors bind the people of the new world to thousands of troops in Africa, much less know about the casualties they've suffered. The greatest threats to dictators like Fidel Castro is the truth. That's why I'm urging the Congress to approve legislation for the establishment of Radio Marti. We will never permit such a government to intimidate us.
Clear, Clipper 8203, Lehman going to Andrews. 